as well as donkeys. I'm also going to be talking about the Vortex Diamondback HD 15x56 binoculars, the included tripod adapter, as well as the Vortex Glassback liner harness. And I'm going to start right now. Hello and welcome to Best Binocular Reviews. My name is Jason. So over the past few weeks, I've been testing out these brand new Vortex Diamondback 15x56 binoculars. And indeed, by the time you watch this video, the full review will probably be on the BBR website, and I'll leave a link down in the description below. But what I thought for this video is I'll focus in on one aspect of that and just talk about how the binoculars work in combination with the included tripod adapter, obviously on a tripod as well, as well as the included uh, Vortex glass pack binoculars. harness, as I think how they function together as a unit is quite interesting. So with a 15 times binocular like these, I can just about hold them steady enough for short periods of times from the hand and get a reasonably good view. But to get the best out of any high powered binocular, you really should mount it to a tripod or a monopod or something steady. And so the fact that Vortex provide um, or includes uh, a tripod adapter with these binoculars is a great start. And it's something that I don't actually see with many high powered binoculars. So kudos to uh, Vortex for that. But then on top of that, not only do they supply you with a tripod adapter, but the one that they supply you with is pretty good. It has a few quirks and I thought uh, this is where we'll begin with, just talk about them. Because um, as you may have seen in some of the footage I'll, I'll take, the binoculars can come, come away from the, the, the tripod quite quickly and easily. And that is because the actual adapter itself is split into two parts. So you have the top part that remains attached to the binoculars and the base that remains fixed to your tripod head. It, it just screws in there. And so to attach the binocular uh, back onto the tripod, you just simply slot it in like that. Now, the advantage of this, obviously, is it's really easy to take your binoculars off and on from the tripod and use it. The slight disadvantage is, um, or basically how I often use a binocular with a tripod, is the fact that if I want to move um, from one place to another, I, I have to take the binoculars off and store them away. Because uh, the way this system works, um, there's no sort of locking mechanism. So if I were to carry it on my shoulder, the binocular would invariably fall off the, the tripod and that's not ideal, obviously. So the advantage is, obviously you can take it on and off quite quickly, but the disadvantage is you can't actually leave it on and walk about without fear of your binoculars coming off. However, uh, what I would stress further is with the included uh, binoculars harness or any carry case for it, for instance, if you have a, a tripod adapter fixed to your binoculars, the one issue with that is if you want to put it back in the case, you have to actually take the tripod off usually because because the usually the tripod adapter sticks out quite a long way from the the base of the binoculars, and so the problem with that being is it won't actually fit back into the into your case. So this system, I think the reason Vortex have included is is with the, the forethought that you would be using it with your, your binar harness. So you'd be able to take your binoculars off the tripod, put them into your binar harness, binar harness excuse me, and carry on that way, which I think uh, works quite well for some people. But as I said, sometimes, um, you know, I would um, probably just walk around with my binoculars um, attached to the, the tripod all the time. However, having said that, the other advantage of removing your, your binoculars from the, the tripod and putting them into the case, one is obviously it's better protected, which is a good thing. But two, suddenly your, your tripod becomes a whole lot lighter because it's not carrying around the binoculars. So, and whereas the harness, um, if designed well, and I'll get into that a bit later, it, what, it, what this does is take the weight of the binoculars off your shoulders, you know, or spreads it out a bit, and it's just far easier to carry about. So as with everything, it's this swings and roundabouts but this system it, whilst a little bit quirky um, it does have uh, advantages to it and another thing I'd like to just quickly point out before we move on as you can see because it actually just slots in there it isn't actually quite as stable as a, a tripod adapter that's a solid tripod adapter you know a one-piece tripod adapter because that would be rock steady whereas this tripod um, adapter as you can see the binoculars move ever so slightly but having said that, and at first I was a bit worried about that but if you 
um, are using your binoculars and you're holding them or pushing them against your eyes, which you would do normally, um, that sort of extra pressure just sort of, whilst it doesn't lock it in place, it just means it's steady. And so it, um, it doesn't actually affect the, the, the view when you're actually using the binoculars, but it, it does look a bit strange when you uh, mount something onto a tripod and it still wobbles about a bit. But as I say, as you're actually using the binoculars, it's really not that much of an issue at all. Okay, so now that we've moved a little bit away from the farming area, I've managed to find a shady spot with which to escape this quite hot day. And wearing black isn't ideal. And I thought here yeah, would be a good uh, place to talk a little bit about the included uh, bino harness that um, Vortex supplies with these binoculars. To begin with, the fact that they actually supply you with a carry case that converts into a bino harness is, is really good and, and a welcome surprise. So the other, uh, on top of that, the actual harness that you get is not at all bad. I mean, for the money, it's pretty good and, and up there with the best, you know, for, in, in this price range. I think they retail for under $50, I think about 40, but you know, don't quote me on that. So the fact it's included is, is good. Overall, it's a pretty good bino harness and I've enjoyed using it. Um, it. Whilst not quite as luxurious as some that I've come across, it's fairly well padded. Um, Putting it together was not at all difficult. Um, I'll put some footage of me actually putting the straps and you know once you sort of get your head around which where all the parts got to go it wasn't actually that difficult at all. Putting um, the bino harness taking it on and off um, is also pretty straightforward and, and very typical of most bino harnesses in the fact that you have um, these suspenders you just you simply just put that part over your neck um, bring it around and now obviously Doing this on camera <laughs> will take me longer than usual. But anyway, you grab these, these straps, they go around this way, just to keep the actual harness fixed against your, your chest. And then they've got straps over here where you can adjust the length um, to, your, to your exact preferences. So it fits quite nicely. I will say that the actual straps themselves, whilst not padded, um, with a fairly lightweight binoculars. I mean, it's, uh, for a 15 times binocular, it's, it's quite lightweight. I mean, again, compared to a, a 42 millimeter, it's you know, a little bit heavier, but so far I've been using this harness for a while and I haven't had any problem at all. And as I say, it is actually more comfortable than carrying the binocular um, on a tripod. So that's a good thing. Next to mention, the, the padding of the, the, the case itself is pretty good. I mean, whilst I wouldn't say it's the most padded case out there, it's, it's decent enough and offers a reasonable amount of protection. Next to mention is the, the actual closure system with an elasticated closure. I, I really like this in the fact that it's, it's really quick and easy to open and close the lid, but at the same time, it's completely silent. So if you're you know, stalking wildlife or birds that can easily be scared or something like that, the fact that you can remain silent is, is super important to some people. So the binoculars themselves, as we've mentioned before, the fact that the, the actual tripod splits in two is brilliant because it means that we can fit it into the case without having to move the tripod adapter. I keep on saying tripod, but I mean tripod adapter. Um, you don't have to remove the tripod adapter to put it, um, the binoculars back in the case. As you can see, uh, the good thing about this, this um, bino harness is the fact that the, even these 56 millimeter binoculars fit really um, well inside them, as in it's really easy to put them in and take them out. And uh, whereas some uh, bino harnesses that I've found in the past will take a 42 millimeter binocular, but the larger 56 millimeter can be quite difficult to get them inside. So these are obviously designed for the slightly larger binocular, and so they fit really well. Next dimension is Vortex have included a number of um, extra uh, pockets on the side. There's these two elasticated mesh ones on the side. And as you can see, I'm keeping um, the ocular lens cover or the rain guard um, stored away in this one because just because for the most part this is going to um, protect your um, your ocular lenses uh, well enough so um, for the most part I don't actually need this so this just seems a good place to keep it. Another thing to point out with this case is on the rear of the case there's an extra another extra pocket uh, which is zip closed. It would be a good place to keep, I don't know, some, some money or some, some documents or even a, a lens cleaning cloth, for example. But what I do like is the fact that it's uh, meshed. It, um, it's a small thing and a, I think a good attention to detail shown by Vortex is the fact that this will, um, it sweats a little bit less than if it was a solid material. Now lastly, because I've been using the binoculars in combination with a tripod, I haven't actually used these 
uh, on the strap you also get a couple of uh, quick release clips which connect uh, via these other straps which are also included onto the onto the binoculars themselves so should you want to you can actually connect the binoculars to the harness um, and use it in a similar way to how you would have a neck strap so that they're tethered to the actual harness themselves um, in some ways this is good because obviously should you drop your binoculars they're not going to fall on the ground but also you know if you're not using a tripod um, or going out with a tripod it means that you can just walk around um, with your binoculars hanging from your neck as it were just like it were a, a normal neck strap um, if, you, if you didn't want to actually put it back into the case um, so I think partly for security reasons it's quite nice just to ensure that if you drop them you're not going to drop the binoculars going to hit the ground but on top of that you know it's just another um, time saving feature one thing i will mention though is this quick release strap you know it makes it really nice and quick and easy as you can see to um, remove the binocular from the harness itself if you want to but it's a bit strange that the next strap which also comes included with these binoculars doesn't have this quick release system on it so if you attach your the next strap to these binoculars uh, you can't actually then use this um, it, it's just a bit of a shame it, it's a pity that the actual next strap that vortex includes doesn't also have this quick release mechanism because then what you could do is swap you could have the next strap um, if you imagine over there and then you know say that you now want to use your harness you just remove this, the strap part and you could fix it to your harness quick and easy so that's just one point that i think and sort of one aspect that i think vortex have, have sort of you know dropped the ball a little bit there but having said that the fact that all this comes included with these binoculars um, is is pretty good in itself and, and far it goes far beyond what i usually see with a pair of binoculars So there you have it. I do hope that this mini overview of the tripod adapter and this binoculars harness has been of both use and of interest to you. If it has, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, if you can subscribe to the channel, please do, as it really does help me bring you more and more content in the future. So other than to say, as I started this video with, for way more details than I can possibly go into in a video like this, please do check out the full review, link down in the description, where you'll get way, way more information, both on this um, harness, the adapter, and obviously the binoculars. As well as I, in, in that review, I compare them against other binoculars, uh, where to buy tons of information. Anyway, check it out. <laughs> um, so I'll leave it there for now. And thanks very much for watching. I'm going to try and get home now before I wilt in this midday sun. Um, luckily, I can walk through this noisette, um, hazelnut in English, yes, uh, plantation, uh, which is nice and shady. So I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Cheers for now.